Okay, folks, what we have here on top of the dune is a Peringuiz adder. And how I found it was just by the simple track that you see going up a dune here. You can actually see that the snake went up here purely by seeing there are horizontal tracks. If they were vertical lines, that means the snake would have been coming down the dune. So immediately you can follow the direction of the snake. Peringuiz adders are unique. They're endemic to the dunes of the Namib Desert. They call it a sidewinder because of that movement that they produce. It's the easiest way to climb up a dune without getting an avalanche and starting again. So they reach a maximum of about 30 centimeters. So it's a dwarf adder and they have a combination venom. So they have a cyto and a neurotoxin. Cytotoxin attacking the skin cells, causing pain, swelling, necrosis, and the neurotoxin affecting the nervous system. So for adults, it's actually not that bad of a bite. You can take antibiotics, painkillers, and sit at home for 10 days and wait for the pain to disappear. But as a child, if this bites you, it can actually permanently affect your vision, the neurotoxin. They have the ability to do a belly dance. They use every single muscle in the body. They dig into the sand. Eventually, only the head and the eyeballs are sticking out. So effectively, it's like a crocodile underwater, with a snake under the sand. And they maintain position sometimes up to three weeks at a time without moving a muscle, waiting for a lizard or a gecko to come by close enough. So you can see why this one has chosen the spot, because there are a lot of lizard tracks around here. When they're buried under the sand and they are ready to hunt, they see a lizard running past. Immediately they will flick up just the point of their tail. And they're going to wiggle that little point of the tail to attract the lizard. The lizard will think that's a worm in the sand. He's going to go and take a bite. As soon as he's close enough, the snake will strike out, bite and good night. So ambush hunting. So um, these chaps you will find from the southern boundary of Namibia all the way to the north, only in the dune fields. The snake is actually sitting right over here. Naked eye will not see it. It's sitting on top of a dune waiting for a lizard to start moving up and down now with the heat. So what I'm going to do now is just reveal the snake for you. Uh, from there you should just see sand, but we're going to just go for a And then I'll even see, you can see the body, if he feels the sand grains, he'll continue to dig in or come out. So that's the hunting technique of the Peringuiz adder. Always just the head and the eyes sticking out, rest of the body under sand.